Good morning, everybody. This is Joe Cusick of Cusick Advisors with your Traders Exclusive. Now, yesterday, we really thought that the bears might have had some teeth. We see today that the S&Ps are actually trading off of its best levels, just slightly off, with the S&Ps uh, now challenging that 2050, 2055 level. We want to keep an eye on that, but let's take that with a grain of salt. And I want to take a look really primarily this Friday at the close of this trading week at the volatility index, the VIX. Um, yesterday we saw that we had a rising VIX. It was up about a buck and some change, um, almost about 10%. And the one thing that you'll see and that you haven't seen, but you saw yesterday was, was that VIX moved on a sell-off. That was something that I thought that the bears were going to have some momentum coming into today. Now we see that VIX has pulled off almost the amount that it had actually gained yesterday. That's been kind of traditionally how the move has been. I tend to be more cautious and fearful when you start to see VIX right around these levels of that 15, 16 level, especially if we start to challenge lower teens into the 12, 13, 14 range. Um, the move higher on the VIX on Thursday though, um, and the fact that the 20 day moving average was holding up, that to me says that we have to be careful. Now, of course, a declining VIX is a bull's best friend, but going into next week and we're starting to get into a new earnings cycle, I think we have to take this all with a grain of salt. Um, the one thing that I also want to watch and I think that you should be looking at over the weekend is, is watch this rotation into the defensive names. Um, basically, we've seen money move into these names since mid-March. Uh, now, when we saw this sudden rise in VIX, that dissipated a little bit going in there and we saw actually more selling of some more offensive names. But the bottom line is, is that if we continue to see this trend of going into the defensive names, um, things that have high yields like uh, health care and things of that nature, you're, and, and any of the bond um, products behind me, uh, you're going to basically uh, see that the market's going to actually hit some resistance here. I guess the best analogy that I want to put out going into the weekend, and it's not the, uh, a very pleasurable one, but it's one when you're trying to forecast a negative event like a tornado, right? We have sunny skies right now. Um, basically, we are seeing money flowing into the right places today. Um, and the likelihood that a market is going to have some turmoil or a tornado have significantly diminished. To me, this is the type of complacency and environment where all of a sudden, boom, you weren't watching the improper rotations because they were actually moving into defensive names. You see that, in fact, because of those moves, while the gauges weren't measuring that, in other words, the volatility index, you actually saw that money was moving in there because they knew that there was something out on the forefront, even though the skies were blue. I think you have to be prepared before that potential tornado hits, and I think that it could be potentially coming. With vol still low, you can look at the major indices and any names that you have. You can either trim down your size or you can start looking at protective puts because vol still cheap. Now, as long as I don't see any clouds, I'm not calling. I'm not going to sound the the uh, warning signal right now. But it's definitely something that I don't want any of you viewers to be too complacent about. All right, folks. This is Joe Cusick of Cusick Advisors, wishing you a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.